The Liberty University football team is coming off perhaps its greatest season ever. An FCS playoff berth, an FCS playoff win. This program is establishing itself as one of the best in the nation. But it wasn't always like that. And years ago, it was the surprising hire of an NFL head coach that helped build the foundation for what we see today. We are interrupting our regular program here on FamilyNet for a special news conference. We are live at Liberty University. They're about ready to begin, so let's go to the media room. I'm going to bring right now to the podium our, our new head football coach, Mr. Sam Ritigliano. Sam. And I wanted to go back to coaching for a reason. This university represents all the things that I believe in. Sam Ritigliano, and of course he was Cleveland Browns coach from 78 to 84, the NFL Coach of the Year in 80, AFC Coach of the Year in 1979, and we're going to return now to our regular broadcast schedule on FamilyNet. My life has been two things. You know, it's been Jesus Christ and adversity. You know, and the different things that I've gone through in my life. You know, in August 17 of 1962, I was in a car accident. I lost my four and a half year old daughter. Nancy, which was, uh, for, for a lot of people, sometimes marriages just break up. And it was through that that I found the Lord. And then, uh, and then the next step as I went through college and I got involved in the NFL was to have met Jerry Falwell at that meeting in Washington, D.C. and to take the opportunity. And going to Liberty was my feeling of what the Lord did for me and I was kind of paying him back. Coach Ritigliano was authentic out of the gate. Uh, he was a, a driven man. He uh, definitely wanted to achieve great things, and he believed in the mission that Liberty uh, was pursuing, and he was able to, to pass on his faith and encourage others. When I sat down with a kid we brought in from Florida, or a kid we brought in from Georgia, or a kid we brought in from Ohio, they came with their parents. And I could talk to their parents and talk to them about, you know, well, we got guys that at the end of every game, they pray with the other team. I could tell them things that I could never tell on high school or college or in pro football. He was very successful with the Cleveland Browns. And of course, you folks may remember the Cardiac Kids. They had a lot of exciting games. He brought a type of an offense that was high power, big passing offense. And he took all of that and brought it to Liberty. First of all, we had some great years, but we were never able, we were not in the conference. We were, everybody else in every other sport at Liberty, we weren't in the conference. So we went 9-2 and two one year and beat a lot of good teams, uh, beat Appalachian State. They would not take us. Well, I think Sam Ritigliano brought a new level of credibility to the football program. You know, it was in its second decade, only about 15 years old. It had gone through this huge transition of NAIA to Division II to Division I AA in just a short period of time. And then Sam Ritigliano comes on the scene and he brings now a whole new level of, of credibility. The team in the 1990s was ranked in the top 20 uh, several times, as high as number eight in the country in the mid-90s. You know, Jerry Fall was a great past and a great man of God, but he could have done anything. He could have done it. He could have been a CEO of anything. And uh, he knew that because of my coming from the NFL and coming to Liberty was going to really draw a lot of things. I, I think it had a lot to do with A.L. Williams coming and getting the most important thing done, building that stadium on campus. That was just the beginning. Thank you. There's not a stadium in the world that uh, my family would be more honored to have its name on. He told me over the phone in January that uh, the, the stadium would be built by homecoming, which was sometime in late October or early November. I said, what are you talking about? You can't do it. He said, they actually moved into the stadium in October. Homecoming game was played in that stadium, and Liberty won, I think, by 20 points over Towson State. He brought all kinds of attention to Liberty that it had not had before in the sports world. So Sports Illustrated and NBC and ABC, CBS Sports and ESPN, those groups were starting now to come and learn about this unusual school in the mountains of Virginia that not only focused on Christianity and faith and Bible, but also on developing outstanding athletes. I, I just was blessed. And I think Liberty was the final move for me uh, 
and then God wanted me to pay so many kids and so many people back. And I think that I helped in that, building that program that they have right now. Amen. This year, with Turner Gill getting in there and then winning the game number one at Coastal Carolina, then winning the second game and then getting into uh, the Villanova and actually could have won that game, really kind of, I think, I think it put us on the map, finally.